of heroes rescued a young boy from stranger danger. That's right. It all started at Fenton High School while the middle school student was all alone. And here's the hook. The rescuers, an entire squad of football players. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards explains how that team scored big by saving that boy. <laughs> they never actually expected to really save someone's day when these JV football players at Fitton High School got on the field for their afternoon practice Tuesday. This little boy came in like screaming and crying like help and then this dude came up and he looked kind of creepy. The terrified middle school student had been by himself near the football field when he was approached by a middle-aged man. Without hesitation, the team jumped in. Yeah, we got between him so he couldn't get to the little kid. Then he uh, ran off. The man was sitting here gesturing to get the kid to come over to him and the kid came, went behind me and said, please don't let him take me. I'm like, we won't, bud. So we all tell him, get out of here, go away. We chased him out of there and I took pictures of his license plate. The teens not only called 911, but they gave police the plate number, a good description, and pictures of the stranger's van. Officers caught up with the man a short time later, thanks to the quick thinking of these guys. So you, you see it happen in a movie, so you take that experience from the movie and use it in real life. The team, proud to help and proud of each other, they came together as a team to rescue the boy. Yeah, yeah, we did. I think so, yeah. But one big football team. Yeah, definitely. Because usually we work as a team on football field, but we work on it after, out and after. And the guys are humbled to be called heroes. Just doing a community service that everyone should do every day. We're lucky to save them and so we didn't get kidnapped or something. The kid was lucky, and I, f I hope he's all good now, even after that traumatizing kind of thing. And the Finn police chief says that he was amazed at how maturely the JV players handled the situation. No arrests were made because the police say that no crime was committed, though they say they will be monitoring the situation very closely. And Fenton, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Okay, Tara, don't mess with the Fenton High School exactly. football team, Watch right? Out. Now, police say no one was ever physically hurt in that situation.